Sandino, bonjour. On the line, children in distress between the ages of 3 and 17, or relatives in need of help. D'accord, il a quel âge, madame You won't be hearing any of their voices. None of the calls here are recorded. Merci de continuer à patienter pour l'instant. Surtout, restez bien en ligne. The helpline gets around 1,000 calls each day. Le mercredi, de manière générale, on a énormément d'appels d'enfants. Là, on est en plein milieu d'après-midi, c'est un petit peu leur créneau. Sandino, bonjour. Je vous mets tout de suite en relation avec une professionnelle de l'enfance, d'accord Merci, mademoiselle. Bonjour. Hello, you're speaking to a child helpline associate. How can I help you Approximately 50 psychologists, social workers and attorneys work around the clock to answer calls that come in from across France. They come in thick and fast and are always intense and difficult. Everyone here works part-time, which allows them to remain efficient and psychologically in shape. So he writes things about making a porn movie. Vous avez vu ce petit garçon tout seul dehors en train de hurler sur le balcon. Il a 4 ans, il vadrouille comme ça dans tout le quartier. Il y a toujours eu des problèmes par rapport à la question de la sexualité avec papa. Ça a commencé quand vous aviez 4 ans, c'est ça About half of the calls lead to an emergency intervention request that is sent to social services. The other half is handled on the phone. There are cases where we're able to see the danger a child is in, and where we have to intervene and set up protection for the child. For example, cases of sexual exploitation, cases where parents force their children into prostitution, There are also cases where children have told their parents they want to leave the country to fight a holy war. The 119 helpline has been operational for 30 years and handles 400,000 calls each year. Calls often deal with situations that are covered by the Convention on the Rights of the Child. Each child has the right to an identity, to a nationality, to a family and to be loved. He or she also has the right to medical treatment, to a balanced diet and to go to school. A child cannot be forced to go to war or to work, and his or her country must protect him or her from all forms of violence, including sexual violence. Why do you say that your dad has always gotten away with it? I'm sorry, how old were you back then? When your mind has to deal with something very violent, the brain just shuts down completely. That's why it all came back to you when your boyfriend started flirting with you in a suggestive manner. That's why you had such strong physical reactions. There's a high risk there may be sexual violence, and your main concern right now is to protect your little sister. This girl is worried her younger sister, who is the same age as she was when she was assaulted, could go through the same thing. But she's not sure whether she should file a complaint. Children or teenagers don't always file a complaint in the event of sexual assault, because they're worried their relatives or the person involved may end up in jail, especially if it's someone close to them, which is often the case. In 94% of cases, sexual abuse on children is committed by relatives, a father, mother, a brother, a sister, an uncle, or a family friend. Every five days, a child in France dies from domestic abuse.